So coming in at my number 10 position is the AJ Styles side plates. Now I really, really do want to love these side plates. However, I am a big belt freak. I love the belts looking prestigious as they are, all the championships. I think the colours need to be spot on in certain ways and I just have to have it a certain way. Otherwise, I won't like it. And unfortunately for this, this does not go with the Universal Championship and it does not go with the WWE Championship. The blue on this just does not work, in my opinion. If these side plates were like red or gold or black, like all one of them solid colours, it would be perfect. So replace the blue with black. There you go. Probably my favourite side plate. However, it is number 10 because the green looks shit on any of the belts it's on, especially the Universal. Coming in at number 9 is the Roman Reigns side plates. Now all of the members of the Shield have a very similar side plate design, especially Roman and Dean. However, I do like them more than the Roman one. So the Roman one ranks only 9 on this list. I think it's a very nice design. It's very basic, but it also makes it pop. So it's there at my number 9 position. Coming in at number 8 is the Bray Wyatt side plates. Now I'm a big fan of these, although we only got to see them on TV for about a month between the period of Elimination Chamber 2017 and WrestleMania 33, I think that these side plates reflect Bray Wyatt's character very well. From the jagged font, it's not a formal font, it really represents the whole jagged, mysterious character of Bray Wyatt to actually implementing the Bray Wyatt logo onto the side plates. I think WWE done a very good job with the Bray Wyatt side plates. They aren't my favourite, but they're ranking at number 8. Number 7 on my list is the before mentioned Dean Ambrose side plates. Now these are very similar to the Roman Reigns ones in the style that they are with the name on the bottom in a curve and the logo in the middle. However I do prefer the Dean Ambrose one. I believe the Dean Ambrose logo pops a lot more than the Roman Reigns logo. Maybe that's because the Roman logo has very thin line work whereas the DA is very prominent on the side plate. I don't know but I do hope we do get to see another Dean Ambrose title run because... I mean, I hope he doesn't leave. I, th I sort of believe it's still a work, so we will have to see. But yeah, number seven, Dean Ambrose. Number six on my list is the Brock Lesnar side plates. Now, these were the first championship side plates to be seen on the network championship that we now currently call the WWE Championship that debuted the night after SummerSlam 2014. Lesnar had the side plates, and I really am a big fan of the whole red going on here it matches up with the red swoosh on the network logo perfectly and i always thought that that pops lesnar is obviously one of the few people one of the two people to hold the wwe and universal championship with the side plates uh, obviously him and roman reigns and his side plates are very nice but they are not good enough for the top five at the number five position is my favorite wrestler, Seth freaking Rollins. Now, Seth's side plates actually one of the rarities. They are significantly different to the replica versions. The real ones are actually much different to the replica versions. You can see in this picture, the replica has a much more wider and thicker outer disc. However, Seth's design, I really am a fan of. I own the actual replica plates in person. They are currently on my WWE Championship replica belt. And obviously, not being biased to Seth Rollins, however, they are my favourite, mainly because they did not follow a like a design, the same design choice that they did with Roman and Dean, keeping it the same. They literally took Seth's old, the Undisputed Future logo from 2014-15 like, and slapped it on a side plate and it looked phenomenal. I'm hoping they don't update it to the Seth freaking Rollins or redesign, rebuild, reclaim logo because I'm a big fan of how they are currently. Anyways, number five, Seth freaking Rollins. Coming in at number four are the Finn Balor side plates. Now, normally I would not be a fan of different side plates for each side as I think championship titles should be 100% symmetrical or as close as it can be. So normally the different side plates I'm not really a big fan of, like the Sheamus ones or the Kevin Owens ones. However, the Finn Balor ones, I think it's the red and the white and the contrast of it all, I absolutely love. I think they look great and I just think they pop on the Universal Championship amazingly. However, due to the colours, I honestly think they would look 10 times better on the WWE Championship. But the Finn Balor side plates are great. Hopefully we get to see them on another championship soon. 
at my number three position, we have the old Daniel Bryan side plates, the yes, yes, yes ones. These are some of the few side plates that have actually been on the old big logo WWE Championship and the network logo WWE Championship. Obviously, the big logo, I'm referring to the one that was uh, introduced by The Rock in 2013 and retired in 2014 at SummerSlam. Now, the Daniel Bryan side plates are absolutely gorgeous. They go with the red swoosh very well. The side plates that incorporate the red on tend to go with that red swoosh very, very well. And it looks absolutely stunning. Obviously, fair enough to Daniel Bryan for having to change them to fit his new gimmick. But these Daniel Bryan side plates will never go out of fashion. They are amazing. At my number two position, although some of you may disagree with this because these side plates haven't actually appeared on TV on an actual WWE Championship, they have released replicas of them though. And from what I've seen, these side plates on the replicas, they are absolutely stunning, especially on the United Kingdom Championship. These Shawn Michaels side plates are gorgeous and I love when the black and the red combo gets just right. And this is near on perfect on this championship. So yes, although they may have not featured on TV, these side plates have actually been produced by WWE Shop and they are my number two position. Finally, at my number one position, guys, we have the Triple H side plates. Now, I love these to death. I think they do it perfectly. The design fills up the entire side plate, so there's not really much blackage. There's no need for the Triple H name because everybody knows that that logo means the game. It's got the red cross on his head that just looks perfect on the head of this design and oh my god they've captured it amazingly this is the right ratio of black gold and red that i would want on a championship it looks absolutely stunning on the wwe championship although it was only seen for a couple months on wwe tv from the royal rumble 2016 where triple h won to wrestlemania 32 where he dropped it to roman reigns these have to be 100 percent my favorite side plates in wwe today and i will be hoping to pick up replica sets soon i'm probably going to pick up the daniel bryan yes 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 ones like next but these triple h ones are definitely on my hit list i love them to pieces Anyways, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.